using kind of splodgy, airbrushy, actually splodgy is not a very <laughs> enticing word, is it? <laughs> Hi and welcome to this week's Makeup Masterclass where I'm going to show you how to use an airbrush and some removal techniques to create the Eckhaus Latter Autumn Winter 19 runaway look. So first of all I'm going to take a yellow and I'm going to be working mostly around Taya's eye area. So working with the brighter colours first, I'm going to take a yellow airbrush, close your eyes for me, and just do little tiny areas of colour, I think quite randomly. And I think it's really nice to mix up the colours, so I'm going to do a bit of yellow here. Then I'm going to go in with an orange, a couple of drops in there. Just spray out uh, the first little bit onto your hand because it will take a second for the yellow to wash itself out into orange. And then I'm going to fill in some more bits. Make sure you go right up towards the hairline if you can, so kind of working your way around the kind of masky area of the face. And down here. Now I'm gonna get this really great bright blue colour. And I'm gonna there, maybe a little bit over here. You start to create a really beautiful kind of almost tie-dye effect. A little bit up there, a bit down here. And then I'm going to take this nice bright purple and that's probably going to be my last colour. So I'm just going to fill in all of those areas that I haven't put any paint on yet. One here, one there. And that's, you kind of, you see what I'm doing there, just basically really beautiful kind of placements of colour all across her eyes. So the next step is to begin the removal process. So I'm going to take a couple of cotton buds, some micellular water, you can use something a bit more greasy if uh, the paint's being a bit stubborn, and you basically just want to begin pressing and dragging. You see how that's left a really nice sharp kind of edge there, and you kind of want to begin just doing that the whole way round. So you begin to kind of create this interesting line situation. And if you leave a little bit of a gap between them, you can really get let that colour kind of bleed through. So you can make them sort of different sizes if you want. A couple of thin ones, a couple of thick ones. And you can begin to build out that nice kind of shape there. And I'm working your way around the head now. So out from the centre, coming up, just continue around the whole face like this. And this is such a quick and easy thing to do, but it looks really, really great. Especially when you have loads of models with, you know, very different colours and kind of different styles. You could do one across the mouth, you could do a kind of um, sort of abstract diagonal shape if you wanted. And Taya's got incredibly lovely big eyes, so we've got really great space to work with here. And what I've done as well is I've just bleached her eyebrows so that we have even more kind of space for that colour. So that's how I created the Eckhouse Latter Autumn Winter Runway Look, using an airbrush to create this beautiful, colourful tie-dye effect across her eyes and then removed it using cotton buds with a little bit of micellular water just to blend it out into her skin. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you next week.